The KJ Today Show is celebrating our first anniversary. Celebrate with us at O'Reilly's with great food, drinks, and friends on Friday, May 5th. 5 to 9, we'll have games, prizes, and fun, plus every crew member that shows up gets a free pair of tickets to the Indy 11. Sign up at kjcrew.com and meet us at O'Reilly's on Friday, May 5th. Thank you for celebrating a great first year with us, and cheers to many more. so excited for I just, tonight i literally was like i bet she probably put that done done into the credits and then i was like nah she didn't do that <laughs> <laughs> oh you better get ready because I, I i i interviewed this guy Steve Zernkilton is his name. He's going to be on the show with us. He's the voice that you have heard for so long, for so many years on Law, Law and Order, and you're going to hear his voice on the KJ Today you show tonight. In the criminal justice system, the people are wait. The people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups: the police who investigate crimes and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Dun, dun. Yeah, wow. I know. Yeah, I know all the intros. Uh-huh. I know the one for SVU too. Oh, let me hear that one. Okay, wait. <clears throat> wait, hang on, wait. Okay. In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these crime investigate these crimes are members of the special victims unit. These are their stories. <laughs> I love Law and Order. Like when KJ was like, "You think I should interview the guy who's the voice of Law and Order?" I was like, "Why is that even a question?" <laughs> Absolutely. Do you not want to talk? I'll talk to him. I will one hundred percent talk to him if you don't want to talk to him because I will. But she didn't. It was so fun. So anyway, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but Jana came back. So yeah. it was uh, real touch and go there for a second, guys. I didn't know. I said crew number one hundred and twenty-three. Josh is checking in. I saw crew number nine. Sam checking in. Crew number twenty-one. Mary Beth, if you are like, wait a second, I don't have a crew number. How does that work? Uh, Well, let me tell you a couple things you can do to join the crew uh, is number one, get that number. Go to kjcrew.com. That's kjcrew with a K. Dot com. We want you joining us and commenting and interacting during the show. This is a show where you're hanging out with your friends. So make sure that you are commenting as much as you want, as much as you can, and hit that subscribe button on YouTube because that is a very easy way to help us grow the show. Uh, thank you all who tuned in last week for our season two best of so far. Yeah, best uh, 20 minutes I've watched. It was great, wasn't it? I mean, I was sitting at home watching. I was like, man, this is good. We were too. This is good. I was was actually in the comments. I'm like, oh, we're supposed to comment and interact with this show, aren't we? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But thank you, guys. Thanks for all the love and support and the well wishes. Uh, This show is dedicated to our sweet Jaina, and I'm not going to say much more about that because it still is a little bit too soon to be talking about it. Um, But this past week, uh, your love and support, uh, all the messages and the kindness have really got us through some tough times. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, Teresa, crew number 44, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, if you missed it right at the beginning, I know Shelly, crew number five, is planning on going. We have an anniversary show. What? I know. Can you believe I it? I can't believe our anniversary is coming up. Our first anniversary is actually uh, May the 4th. That was when the show started, Uh, but we're going to have it on a Friday night to make it easier for people to come. We're going to be at our uh, favorite little spot, O'Reilly's Irish Pub and Restaurant downtown, Uh, and every crew member who attends gets a free pair of tickets to an Indy 11 game of their choice this season. (gasps) 
You don't have to play any games. You don't have to, you know, do anything crazy. I just want you to show up and say, hey, this is my crew number. We'll verify that you are on the crew. If you don't have a crew number, we'll sign you up for the crew. But the Indy 11, uh, new partner of the KJ Today Show, you're actually going to have a, a chance to win tickets coming up later in the show with Don't Screw the Crew. Uh, but we're excited to have Indy 11, a part of the KJ Today family today. And they said, uh, let's get the crew, let's get all your crew mem members to a game. <laughs> Indy 11 said, please take our tickets. We <laughs> we love KJ so much. We're going to give her the most tickets. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I was uh, one of the first people who had a personalized jersey next to the team members who had their names on the back. What? It was me and producer Will from the Smiley Show because we were so excited that we were finally getting a soccer team. Oh, I just saw Ted from Seattle checked in. Thank you so much. Uh, Danny, crew number 17. We've got a great crew here tonight. Thank you guys so much. It really, really does like just like just make our hearts so happy when you're here live with us. It's Guys, amazing. Please don't make KJ cry because I physically cannot handle if she starts crying today. I've cried so much. Like I, I am physically on the verge of tears at any point in time. So like if she starts crying, we're just going to have to turn the show off because we're both going to be in here just like ugly sobbing. Listen, we, I did a, a pet pals TV story and you're going to see a little preview on that coming up on Monday. I went to uh, uh, Jake, Query's house. Mm -hmm. He is on the fan here locally and he does IndyCar radio. He's amazing. Nice. Um, it, it, the, his story of how he adopted this cat is incredible. But like I showed up and and Barney, our, Barney Wood, our wonderful photographer from Love Pet Pals TV, I text him and I was like, don't you dare say anything to me about my cat and being sorry about what happened until after we're done shooting or there is going to be a makeup disaster. And he right. was like, no problem. <laughs> Like, Barney said, I'm a professional. I got this. And then I, not to give too much away, but the story that Jake was telling about the senior cat that he rescued was so similar. Oh, God. And I'm like, I cannot cry during a pet house TV story. I cried on Wish TV on yeah. Saturday. It happens. Oh, okay. We'll all just right. Be crying all the time. All right. All right. Happy tears tonight because we're celebrating our first anniversary. Woo! We're so excited about that. Uh, and, you know, we have got a, a, a surprise guest that's going to be joining us tonight, Jonna. I would also like to file a complaint. Uh, yes, um, go ahead. You know, since I'm back, you know, from I'm those... sorry, but uh, before you file a complaint, there there's just one thing that I, I have to do. No, don't do that. Yep. Hang no, on. No, nope. hang on. Stop it. Hang on. Uh, in a, <clears throat> it is time for an official complaint. <laughs> go ahead, Jonna. I would like to file a complaint with, um, I don't know somebody that would be me be you the that hr department me. yep that would be me um that you know after those very serious two weeks of contract negotiations that we went through where um i uh in fact uh just kind of gave in i was just like oh i'll just keep coming over for food that's fine um why is it that when i come back there's a surprise guest and then you like won't even like tell me like usually i can guess who it is <laughs> And I was like, oh, I bet it's this person. She was like, no, it's not. And I'm like, well, <laughs> how are you how are you gonna do me like that, KJ, after I haven't been here, after I put in my notice and then came back? Oh man. How are you gonna do me like that? KJ? I will tell you, and me and this surprise guest have I actually asked permission because you know you want to promote like if you're gonna give your time to a show, you want them to promote and be like, mm -hmm. hey, so and so's gonna be on the show this week. You should mm -hmm. tune in. And I was like, Are you okay with this? <laughs> and, and and this person was like, I love this idea. I love that we're going to surprise Jada. So I honestly hate, you know what? I'm not, <laughs> we're not whoever, it, we're not friends. Okay. No, no friends. Not all friends. right. All right. Well, they are going to be uh, joining here in just a few minutes. So before, mm. before we get to our special guest and what's popping and pop culture brought to you by conquest journals, let's get to everyone's favorite segment. Dumb jokes. Oh, Ryan, I wish it was Chris Evans, man. <laughs> I wish. All right. This is a segment uh, where we know that the jokes are dumb, but go along with it because you're probably gonna get you're probably gonna giggle, okay? All right. You're you're gonna, I'm gonna cackle. I'm oh my gosh, Jada. You, you know, know what? I crack up. Hang on just a second, Jada, because guess what? Uh, this, our surprise guest is here. I can I can only see the top of their head. On our my surprise computer. guest okay. is here, and I'm going to bring him in for dumb jokes because I think this surprise guest 
would absolutely love to be a part of Dumb Jokes. Patrick, would you please bring our surprise guest out of the green room and onto the screen? <laughs> 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 oh man <laughs> let me give you a, a, a proper welcome for those of you who don't know our surprise guest is our good friend brandon peters from the brandon peters show hey brandon <laughs> hello hello <laughs> I, you had chills earlier uh. and then I was promised tears, so <laughs> I was paying attention. I can't cry in front of you. I have to wait until I'm at home like a boss, okay? Yeah, did, did you catch that, Brandon? It was almost like John was psychic in the- I know. Well, I was trying to I was trying to casually check it out, and then I hit the volume button, and it apparently said I was watching. So I was like, oh. <laughs> Cat might be out of the bag now. So for uh, the, uh, those of you who don't know, we will, when we have time, and we have our, basically when we have our crap together, and we have a moment before the show we'll be like oh you know what we can go live and so i go live on my my personal facebook page and uh and and i mentioned that we were going to have a surprise guest and and then i was and jonna didn't get it because then i went to talking about this lamp that i have i can't move my camera patches can i move my camera don't do it yeah I feel you, like you, that would you be do you man Okay, this is a I just want to say very that. unprofessional thing. I was showing off my Black <laughs> Widow lamp that Brandon uh, got me at PopCon last year, and John was like, <laughs> I, I, "That is a lie. <laughs> that is an absolute yeah. false." Hey, I was I was standing right next to Jana, and I'm I'm almost positive she said she got a chill, but I it did get a, like a chill. Crunch. Excuse me. Well, in fairness to Jana, while she was like, oh, with the surprise guest, your whole crew watching was like, oh, who? who? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> They're like, last time KJ had a surprise guest, it was William Shatner. <laughs> For the 15th time. <laughs> In my defense, usually when KJ is doing her live before the show, I'm like talking crap with Patches when he's up here. So like. I don't ever like pay attention to what mm. she's saying. So, you know, it's so Brandon, let's um, real quickly, uh, we're going to, because we want to get to uh, to dumb jokes, but I think mm -hmm. everybody that's watching now is like, okay, this guy is definitely a part of the uh, part of the crew. And uh, we have been friends for a long time. You are the, you know, the, the master of ceremonies on the PopCon stage, making sure all the podcasts are doing what they're supposed to be doing when they don't show up. You fill in with fantastic content uh but before and we'll plug your show more later but let's talk about the brandon peters show what mm -hmm. you do and how people can watch it all right uh, well, like all podcasts you can go on spotify uh apple music every, everywhere they're everywhere podcasts are found except for a uh, soundcloud i'm not on there um, no, we're not either no is that uh, still a thing is that is that part yes. of the you interwebs yeah it's really it's a, for up and coming rappers don't do it it's not okay. it's a total okay. trap don't do it yeah right. yeah my career there <laughs> failed uh, unless so. we want to try rapping i can like beatbox no, please, guys, just, just stop. no you can't you really can't it sounds like okay. there's like a i'm lot not free if you're, you're trying to bait me into freestyling right. with that it's not happening i so. was okay I uh i also there's a youtube channel that goes with it as well which you can get some different stuff from so subscribe everywhere you can uh, my show does like it's very like movie TV music focused. Um, what I want to point you to is that next Monday, um, starting a series called um, hey, my camera stuff, right? I'm not used to the reverse. Uh, <laughs> the summer of 90, 93 at 30. So while we talk about current pop culture stuff, I'm going 30 years in the past. And uh, this is a follow up series to my summer of 82 at 40 that I did last summer. Uh, it's me and Scott Mendelson from The Rap. He used to be from Forbes. Uh, we, uh, and this year we're bringing in Aaron Neuwirth from Variety. We live entertainment. Uh, he has a po podcast called Out Now with Aaron and Abe, which is where I got my start in podcasting pretty much. Uh, and what it is, is we go through a weekend by weekend look at the box office from that summer. Uh, like all the movies that came out. So we have smaller discussions on those, but you can go hear movie talk anywhere. So what I've done with it too is um, we also pick out like news items that happened that week. For, and we talk about those. We talk about the top 10 television shows from the Nielsen ratings. We talk about uh, the top 10 from Casey Kasem's top 40 for that week. 
And uh, then we have a box office discussion as well. So it's like the whole whirlwind. If you were like a little pop culture geek back then, what was your week like with all that? So we kind of go through that. We have some good laughs and stuff. And then on Fridays, um, I do a music video from that Casey Kasem top 10. Uh, and with that has a carousel of different guests on Fridays that come in and talk with me that aren't Aaron and, and Scott. Um, but it's kind of a it's a full uh, experience. Uh, it goes from May through August. Uh, we've already, they're already, they're dated. We start record, we start recording them back in January. So if someone passed away in that time, but we did, we're like, Oh, there's a great, <laughs> well, in order, for, in, order for, yeah, <laughs> in order for this thing, not to, to, to work through the whole summer, we got to start banking them. So, gotcha. uh, so that happens. And, um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. A lot of people have been very excited on Twitter and Instagram about it. And, I'm excited, yeah. Brandon. I'm a little like I was a little like you because uh, <laughs> like John, because not because of you, but because of the fact that you pointed out to me that I graduated in 1993, which was 30 hey, years ago. Hey, you guys want to hear something <laughs> super great? No, not really. I wasn't even born yet. Yeah, <laughs> I was born is. in 94. <laughs> so so we, we, we joke on the first episode that we brought Aaron in for this year because in the summer of 82 at 40, he wasn't born yet. So he can't participate. <laughs> you can't participate till you're born. Um, all right so. we, brandon we would like you to hang out participate in a, in a couple of things that we do here uh we've got you know i don't know if you you heard brandon but we've we've got the guy from law and order coming out uh so we're real excited about that <laughs> Uh, but before we get to that, we have uh, a, a segment called uh, Dumb Jokes. I, I see we got some more people checking in. Michelle Hamilton, crew number three. Uh, Jim says, I got married in 1993. Oh, good. Okay. My uh, parents got married in 1993. Uh, yeah. A lot of great things happened in 93. Sorry you missed it, Jonna. All right. Here we go. Never mind. You know what? <laughs> this is a kid-friendly show. I'm just going to keep keep that uh -huh. little nugget to myself. <laughs> All right. It is time for... Uh, dumb, no. jokes. dumb jokes yeah. dumb jokes of course Sorry. john dumb has jokes. pictures on that slide yeah you like yeah there you yeah. go there it is. <laughs> i'm always laughing okay i can't help it can you i think you everything's funny off that one because i don't like this part no, nope, I'm sorry, Patches. Patches, it, you have to be crap. present. As you can see in the picture, Patches is really enjoying the dumb jokes. But when you uh, watch <laughs> Patches' face, which I highly recommend. I mean, you can listen to 10. this as a podcast, but if you watch Patches' face during dumb jokes, you're going to get like 110% uh, more enjoyment out of this. So uh, yep, here we go. We know these are dumb. We already know that we've set you up. You know they're dumb. So uh, let's do this. Jada, okay? Let's do it. All ready. right, here we go. All right. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Dumb joke. What do you call a bear with no teeth, Jana? I know the answer to this, but what do you call a bear with no teeth, KJ? A gummy, a gummy bear! bear! <laughs> ba -ba. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> Brandon's over here like rating the joke. Like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I'll tell my like, kids that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a dad joke. Right? Like that's that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and Patch is just over here like, I can't even believe that I'm still here for this. Well, the problem is, you know, like Brandon has kids. Patches just has cats. The cats don't they they don't like they don't like these jokes. I mean, they're just like straight faced, like not funny. That's like a cat <clears> in general. All I'm right, saying. let's let's give our, our special guest Brandon some more content for his children. Here we go. Dumb joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? I don't know, KJ. Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna get done. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right and please know that you can submit your own dumb jokes to us uh submit them in the comments tag me i love it people have been tagging me on dumb I know, jokes i've and seen they, some of them I've, ne I've never been tagged so many times uh since started started tagging you in dumb jokes everybody wants too. me to have their dumb jokes thank you so much i love them all i love them and i and i tell patches all of them all week long so <laughs> lucky man <laughs> Right? Right? <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. He is a lucky man. All right. Thanks, one more. One more. One more. Here we go. Oh, Dumb joke. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? I don't know, KJ. Why? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> Ahead, Brandon. <laughs> so I, I was like, I went for I wanted to be like two nice little sweet clean jokes, and then it's the raunchiest one to end it out. Like, whoa, where did that come from? That would, yeah. I was like, I was like, is she going there with this? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> no. I know what they do in the coop, but you know. <laughs> so I was like, gonna, like, because I would have like spit out. You're like, oh, wait man. a second. If you're if I if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I can't tell this one to my kids. Oh man! <laughs> well, I, I might practice audience for the adults. Are we still talking about this joke? <laughs> no patches. No patches. We're oh, we're done. Man. Come on, patches. A chicken sedan. <laughs> a chicken sedan. Come on, patches. I tried so hard to find a graphic that was a chicken in a car, and I just couldn't, and I didn't have time to make one. <laughs> it would have been a Davili good one, right? Oh my god. Patches is gonna quit and Brandon's gonna have to be our new producer. Oh, oh man. Oh, Brandon, I'm sorry you're here for this. I don't think Brandon's minding at all. Oh man. <laughs> That's been dumb jokes. Again, please tag me. Uh submit yours. Uh submit it in the comments or go ahead and man. email the show. KJ Today Show at gmail.com uh john are you gonna be able to uh, bring us some pop culture <laughs> maybe <laughs> all, right. all right i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you two seconds to get it together here are your two seconds coming up on kj today <laughs> oh, <no> way, <laughs> oh, kj today is produced by john <laughs> Barely. <laughs> right. matches. Oh, good lord. Woo. Tonight's Mission guest has appeared sweet. courtesy of. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate the you. The Brandon Peter Show, our new sponsor. All right. right. Check has it cleared. Check has it cleared. <laughs> and it's not going to. <laughs> Okay. All right, my friends, it is time for what's popping in pop culture. With executive producer John, pa -pa, powered by Conquest Journal. Pa -pa, pa -pa. Pa -pa. Yep. Go ahead, John. We done? Okay, cool. Oh, go you took your glasses off. Wow. No, I was laughing. So I was crying. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I was crying. So I had to take my glasses off. So You're I could welcome. Wipe my tears away. <laughs> All right, John, John can't read any of her notes, but here's what's <laughs> popping in pop culture. All right, guys. Good news. LL Cool J is going on tour Ooh, for the first nice. time in 30 years. That's like my whole life. <laughs> Wait a second. LL Cool J hasn't toured, toured in 30 years. Since I graduated That's how many years school? NCIS has yes. been on. <laughs> oh, and I love <laughs> NCIS, about man. <laughs> That's about as long as Law & Order has been on TV. So, oh, like, I get it. Oh, um, coming up. I'm sorry. Did you say Law & Order? <laughs> You're just moments away. <laughs> Listen, oh, if, if, if Steve Zern Kilton was actually going to be live with us, he no. would have definitely canceled. No. <laughs> he would have been like, right. no. As a matter of fact, I am not going to be he on this be show. Yeah. 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 Certainly, like, nice would have had me canceled. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he just uh, log in, be in the green room, be like, oh, look at these clown shoes. Nope, I'm out. These clown shoes. <laughs> Can you mute mic number four in the bottom left corner, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So LL Cool J, as he announced dates, is he coming anywhere near us? He is coming to Indy, actually. Shut on, up. Yeah. And like on August 20th. What? Yep. That's very like close. This August? Yep. Yeah, like this August. We're so used to people announcing tours and then being like, we'll see you in 2032. Right. That, nope. He, he will be here August 20th of this year at Gamebridge Ooh. Fieldhouse. Oh, my gosh. Nice. And wonderful. apparently it's like some big old like mega tour. I don't know who's coming with him to this show specifically, but like I read for like the Detroit show, there's going to be like Queen Latifah and Common and 
iced tea and like just like a bunch yeah but that's detroit they're gonna get i know right so i don't know i know ll cool j is gonna be here in indy i just gotta know who's gonna be with him with the guy who fiddles while he juggles no he's got he's got good supporting (laughs) like there's just like four of that like queen latifah mc light and like two others aren't coming here Okay. And then, like, it's the rest of his thing, which is actually a pretty solid lineup. It's a huge, like, literally the list was so long, yeah. I could, I like, couldn't even, like, write yeah. it all down. Feel, if you go, like... you'll be doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> yeah, salt, salt and pepper be there. Well played. Round the way, girl, and head on over to the Gamebridge uh, Fieldhouse. Oh, that is Tickets brilliant. go on sale well on... <laughs> <laughs> at 10 o'clock oh. on Friday. Are you happy we Who have invited this surprise guest? Usually right. they're a surprise guest because I didn't invite them. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pop it. Guys. Yeah. The new Whitney Houston biopic is on Netflix. And oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Oh my god, y'all don't even. I literally love Whitney Houston so much. R.I.P. to the Queen. Mm-hmm. Um, but like when I saw, because I saw the first like the Lifetime biopic that they did of her, mm-hmm. trash. It was awful. I oh, hate okay. It. Mm. Don't watch it. Okay. But this new one looks really, really good. It's like actually the start of her career and how she got to where she you know she Ooh. was like a really big star. So that's on Netflix right now so it's in my queue already i was gonna say are you gonna go watch it after the show then no i'm gonna go home and put my face in a pillow and sleep what pop it sad news yes our favorite nick kroll is canceling not canceling two of his shows on netflix will no longer be what yep big oh. mouth and big mouth is renewed for season eight which will be its final season in human resources which is the spinoff from big mouth will end with its second season when it comes out. Oh. Now, are you watching those shows? I watch Big Mouth. I don't really like Human Resources. It's not as funny as Big Mouth is. Um, yeah. Also, these shows, are they look animated. They are animated. Do not let your kids watch them. Okay. Ooh. You hear that, Brandon? Those are not for your children. Those are not children-friendly shows. Okay. Unless you want to have a lot of very uncomfortable I, I, conversations. I will say <laughs> he and Mulaney are the are the two main voices in it, and they are absolutely hilarious. And John mm-hmm. Mulaney has a new stand up out on Netflix. And it's, we watched it's it last hilarious. night. Hilarious. That's the it one is that I fantastic. Went. It's not even remember? like jokes most of the time. And it's no, it's, he's just like, telling a story about rehab. Yeah. It's amazing. You guys it's remember when I went amazing. and saw John Mulaney? Yes, that's yes. the special that he was. Filming. Oh my gosh! Oh, because it's great. not. It's like Brandon. It's like you said. He's not telling jokes and then you're laughing really hard but you're like i'm also laughing really hard about his Sobbing. rehab yeah, <laughs> oh right. some of his some of his merch literally said i saw him when he got out of rehab like that's <laughs> owning it that's what he's Bro, right? brilliant that's so absolutely funny. brilliant absolutely good for him yes. what pop it uh, guys y'all yeah. probably don't care no i, I don't care but, very but, much but, all of i, the I already know what the graphic is and right. i don't care all of my millennial homies, we will care. Rugrats season one and two will be available to stream on Netflix on May 1st of this year. And guess who's very excited? Me and all the other millennials out here in these streets because we love Rugrats, okay? Okay. Rugrats slaps. Thank you, Jonna. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, I, welcome. I, I was there with Rugrats in the early days. I'm a, well, here's the thing. I'm a year one millennial by stats, but like Jen... Like Gen X doesn't want me to be there, but they don't want to claim me. And then the mm-hmm. millennials are like, "You're kind of old." Oh, so then are they, you the same they, age as Patches? They came. He's... They came up with like Zenial, and I'm like, "No, Zenial is not a thing." It's yes, because I, I know how to research in a library and on a computer. So yeah. So, I mean. so by <laughs> right. So Whoa. by definition, I am Gen X, but like it, it, just like you brandon like it, it's really weird we're the we're like that tweener generation yeah. of like tweener. we we're the pencil and paper word. kids that learned about technology as it we, kept we transit we transitioned every we were the, yeah, the crossover we're like the conduit between the two so i can stand with whichever side's winning and be like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well you sound like a right fan. good job buddy <laughs> old farts um, over there right <laughs> <laughs> Us you young kids need to know what you know. So, right, you, right, right, right. You old people. Yes, but Rugrats is going to be 
Rugrats season one and two will be on Netflix. <laughs> Thank I'm you, very excited. Coming up, Steve Zern Kilton on Law and Order. But uh, moments before the show, we got uh, breaking news, guys. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news <laughs> in the pop culture world. Jonna, tell us what's going on. <laughs> yes, Ouch, the news. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> You're gonna make it over there. Who? Is it the get it the breaking news? Yes. Do, 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 do. Go ahead, Jada. I'm I'm hanging up. How do I leave this place? <laughs> if you're a fan of Chad Michael Murray and Scott Patterson and Morgan Cohen, we are. And if you're a fan of Sullivan's Crossing, which you can only watch it on CTV right now, mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. news is it's coming to the CW in the fall. Nice. Nice. I'm so excited. Finally. And KJ, not to like you know transition mm-hmm. into Ooh, about something. A segue? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something else about but character development Sullivan's mm-hmm. Crossing stars somebody who is coming to Popcom Louisville I well think. why Ooh. don't we let him Who's tell that? you himself hey I'm Scott Patterson can't wait to see you at Popcom Louisville June 16 through 18 you know who else is going to be there, Jonna? Not Chad Michael Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Brandon Peters. <laughs> uh, surprise guest, Brandon Peters. Surprise! Brandon's uh, also going to be a pop god. I don't You're going to have to deal with Brandon twice this year? Yeah. That's too much. Uh, three I don't, times, I don't actually. Get... To the, you know, two pop gods this year. Mm-hmm. That's what I, oh yeah, you're right. And yeah. you're dealing with him tonight. So literally yeah. me, Aww. I literally only ever see Brandon in person at Popcorn. <laughs> they put me, they, they lock me up and they freeze me. <laughs> yeah, and then they thaw me you. out. <laughs> Tonight's an early it's it's like a, a bonus chip I cashed in. I'm like, oh cool. back to the freezer. <laughs> Brandon and I we did we had so much fun because I wanted to respect him and be like, you know, no, I, I want to give you promotion. You're you're spending your time with with our show but are you okay if we don't tell anybody because it's going to be the best surprise <laughs> we're <China>. embarrassed <laughs> wait why is it the best surprise for me i don't understand yes. like why this is just well, because, because i don't I love, like surprise guests i love how the two of you snipe at each other like constantly <laughs> and like be yes. a, you know on socials and stuff like that you're like no i hate you too you know like it, it's just great so it's just like why not have them on that it's is the truth but we became friends at the friends. last popcon so that was yes. the thing you guys didn't know we like yeah, we became bros. We yeah, even we took a picture out. together. We did, oh. and we—it sh- was on social media, like where we like let the public know. Right, we, we like right. tagged each other, and hanging everything. out. Yeah. Well, that is Man. the beautiful thing about PopCon is that it is a place for you to make friends, even if you start out as enemies. <laughs> mm-hmm. John- Don't even know why we started out as enemies, but it just happened. It just, it was Me there. and Brandon were just like saw each other and was like, "It's on site right now." <laughs> yeah. it, it took her years to come up on a stage with me. I was like, "You want to come up here?" No, 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 no. no. Who's no, up there no, with good. me? Like I can't me? be associated with you, Brandon. That guy, no. no. I, all right, Brandon. Uh, I, I got to get you on the kind of nerdy girls so that we can spend a little more time together. Oh, you um, can be on next month's podcast. <laughs> Gladly. Because you're not going to be again. there or what? <laughs> no, he can be Because we already recorded this month's podcast. Right. It's, so true. It's, true. it's true. It's true. It's true. You can edit uh, snide comments for me in post production. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I want to give good. you. I don't want to give you any more of my time. Just edit me in. Oh, Jonna. <laughs> right. Anytime Jonna says something about Twilight. Uh. Uh, I have seen um, all those. Brandon, tell everybody where they can find you and how they can follow along with uh, the brand new series that you're doing. The, all right. Just, uh, yeah, you... uh, sorry. I was going to actually oh. say what it was, but you can do that because it's your show. <laughs> okay. Well, so you type my name into any of the podcast things and you'll see the dumb little orange icon thing pop up i've tried it that's how it works so boom right there uh look uh youtube's a little harder because there was a football player in college that had a good year or two that he comes up all the time that was a while ago a good year or two i i had Back in 1993 it was a while ago i was trending on i was trending on twitter and <laughs> yahoo and i was like and people were like what's up so i'm like my podcast finally, finally i hit it big <laughs> no nope, yeah. story of starting quarterback goes down at michigan doofus <laughs> with my name happens to be from apparently avon indiana too i can't wow. even escape that comes in <laughs> throws a couple pig skins oh that's the awesome. guy is nothing 
You so, want to know what's so bad is when I yeah. see people's names trending, I'm like, dang, did they die? I know. I would have seen your name right. trending. Like, Not oh my your God, lucky Brandon day. Died? <laughs> Not your lucky day. So over here, that's my handle on, on uh, Instagram and Twitter where you can follow along. And that's where the episodes get posted. I've been promote, putting like these little hype videos, counting down for it, making kind of funny. So I have these little clips from movies from the 90s, uh, from early 93, including a thumbs up from uh, Gene Siskel for the movie Carnosaur believe nice. it or not he gave no it a thumbs kidding. up nice. and i remember that went on the vhs cover it's a crappy little corman movie with a puppet dinosaur and he gave it a <laughs> thumbs up because he had a thing for diane ladd so uh, <laughs> oh, cool. and he goes and he's like he's literally like steven spielberg's got a movie with high-tech dinosaurs coming up uh later this summer but we'll see if he has any characters as good as diane ladd in carnosaur <laughs> So, yeah, that's a real thing. But that's the kind of stuff you find when you're going back through pop culture. It's a funny show. I've been listening back editing. Like, I'm enjoying it. So maybe that's a bad thing. I don't no, know. No, that's the best but, thing. <laughs> but it would go all summer long. Tweet at us things. Uh, there's just people who play this box office game that's like a Wordle type thing where you guess like the, the top. They'll give you a date. And you have to guess like the top five from that weekend to get hints. We helped them out like crazy last summer. They were all thanking Scott and I a bunch. We're like, you got to listen to the show. You'll know when it comes up. So people that play that game, you're welcome for another one. Uh, but yeah, that's where that's nice. where you keep up with me. All right. And I we just great, man. noticed that Brandon under his name says Jonna number one. You just noticed that? <laughs> I just, that just, I can't see. Okay. <laughs> I just put yeah. my glasses back on. I did it on one. purpose. She'd be like. Also, I literally like, what is that say? Brandon, real quickly before uh, we let you go, uh, I I noticed today that you don't have a KJ Crew number. I'm a little offended by that. I mean, it's freaking free, dude. Oh, it's how do I free? How do like I get one? one? You get like one email oh, away, bro. You say right, that. Go you go to KJ Crew, Crew with K. All right. Okay. Zucka. Well, I realized today I'm a not a good guy. I, I realized I wasn't subscribed on uh, YouTube today, so I, I did <laughs> you that. You are the absolute hey, worst. Hey, I yeah. am the worst. Well, oh, man, I guess I gotta go subscribe to Brandon but on I, YouTube. I now. own up to my worst, okay? True. That is what we appreciate. appreciate. <laughs> it took me three months of actually producing the show before I realized I was like, oh, crap. I, I thought I already was. I see the videos <laughs> through my socials and stuff, and I thought I did it at some point. All good. It's all good. We still love you, Brandon. We'll see you at PopCon. Patrick mm -hmm. is actually gonna tell us a little bit more about popcorn coming up and he's also going to tell us about our sponsor for what's popping in pop culture that's right conquest journals we'll see you again soon brandon bye, bye brandon well kj what's popping in pop culture is powered by conquest journals Officially licensed fan art for Harry Potter, Supernatural, Friends, Shits Creek, and more. Please discard my rubbish British accent, but it's the getting better. Thing is, now shipping is the very first Conquest Journals Hogwarts 2023 and 24 agenda, Hogwarts Express notebook, and platform nine and three quarters pencil case. Shop now at conquestjournal.com Ah, KJ, if you like <laughs> Powers the KJ Today Show, it is powered by PopCon, celebrating all aspects of pop culture in one weekend. The inaugural PopCon Louisville is quickly <laughs> approaching with celebrities like Scott Patterson and Emily Swallow along with family fun and nightlife events to entertain all get your tickets at popcorn.us <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much patches uh coming up we we have got uh, a little behind the scenes from Pet Pals TV. Uh, you're you're going to meet a, a, a little cat named Boo, and you're going to want to know more about him. We also, uh, if you love pets, want to let you know that I've got a bonus episode up right now with Dr. Oakley, who is the Yukon vet. She's been on uh, Nat Geo forever. Nice. And, and she's 
I did not know this until I talked to her. She's from Indiana. She's a Hoosier. She's from Munster, and we had a fabulous conversation. So that is already up on the YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe, please do. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you very much to uh, all of you who have already subscribed. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the voice you've been waiting to hear. It is time. For Steve Zern Kilton, which I'm going to say, like, none of us knew what his name was. No. Nope. Right? Like, it's, it's, I mean, we and, didn't. And I always wondered, I'm like, man, I wonder who that guy is who does the voice. And then KJ was like, I'm going to interview that guy. And I was like, his name is Steve. What a normal person name. Right? And a fascinating guy. He, he's going to tell you, he was just like a normal guy out there just, you know, trying to make a living. And uh, he took a shot and it paid off. <laughs> Can you uh, share a little bit about how you were in real estate and ended up being connected with with Dick Wolf and and, and said, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot at this." Dick Wolf, I didn't know who he was, and my friend said that Dick Wolf, and I said, "I don't know who that is," and, and he said, "Well, he's the coach of the Miami Vice, so along with Michael Mann. He was a um, writer for Still Blues." I said, "Oh, wow, you're gonna be great to meet him." Uh, and so sometime later, we were at an event, and a mutual friend introduced us. And as you say, I had my, I had my um, associate broker's real estate license, I had my general license, insurance license, you know, all the things you do to keep food on the table. And um, I met him, and I said, you know, Mr. Wolf, you know, I, I do this, you know, real estate and so forth, and, and uh, you know, I understand, you know, your personal home in this area here, but you're in New York, you know, I'd love to just act as a buyer's representative, make it go smoothly, which I did. Uh, and then we went to him shortly after the closing and he said, you know, what do I owe you? And I'm dating myself now. I pulled out a demo tape and I <laughs> handed it to him. I said, you know, nothing, don't worry about it. Happy to help a friend. And just sometime, you know, maybe give me my some, some voice work. You know, <laughs> he said, I am shooting my shot right now. <laughs> I love that. Right? right. That he was like, I'm out here selling houses, but the, somebody tells me this guy's a big deal. So I'm going to give him my tape. <laughs> He's the guy who produces, you know, Miami Vice. <laughs> I have to uh, admit that, you know, I try really hard in these interviews. I got, you know, I've, I've learned because I wasn't good at interviewing and some of you may be like you know okay Jay, you're still not great but i've tried i've, uh, I've and like y you need to listen like you would have all the questions prepared and think of how it's going to go but if you're not truly listening to what they're mm -hmm. saying you're not going to get the best interview but i was so distracted by the fact that it was the law and order voice that i had to like keep tuning back into what he was saying because <laughs> i'm like it's just the law and order voice right <laughs> And uh, here's how he ended up, which surprised me, uh, not the job he expected to get with Law and & Order. And then the call came, you know, Mr. Wolf would like you to play an on-camera detective in this new pilot called Law & Order, which I did, and with William H. Macy, who was in the pilot, and I had an 11 a.m. call that got around to shooting my scene at 2.30 a.m. the next morning, and I remember this thing to me. How do you like it so far? I mean, because you're just sitting around for hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. doing nothing until you know, your time comes up. And of course, I did such a stellar job that I was never on camera again. But that <laughs> thing, had it. Uh, nobody wanted the show. Fox passed on it. CBS passed on it. Nobody wanted it. And then Brandon Tarkoff at NBC said, "Hey, let's give this a shot." And that's when I got the call saying, "Mr. Wolf would like you to meet him at Todd A.O. Studio on Broadway in New York. He has something he wants you to read." He literally stood next to me at, at the podium with the microphone, underlined the words he wanted to emphasize, and that was the opening of Law and Order. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> right? And then he's Man. like, he's like, well, I mean, I guess I won't be an actor then. <laughs> right? It's like, you know what? I'll just, but I mean, just like imagine, like, there's, like, Law and Order has been going on for such a long time. Like, he's probably like, oh, yeah, I'll voice this show for like, whatever like it probably won't go past law and order has been on for like 20 seasons so yeah. has svu organized crime is going on like it's fourth season now he's got this show 
blood and money. It's just like, man, like you literally hit the jackpot. And I know Fox and ABC, like after seeing how well Law and Order has done, are just like really should have hopped on that train, oh, man. This is so embarrassing, <laughs> right? Uh, and you mentioned blood and money. Blood and money is uh, Steve's new show. And if you are into true crime, you're gonna want to hear about it. <laughs> Tell us uh, a little bit about the new show, Blood and Money. First episode that aired was the Robert Durst story. It is just fascinating because while it has a law and order type, you know, sort of theme and approach, you know, to it, complete with the dum dum and uh, <laughs> things like that, it's interviewing the actual detectives, uh, the actual police officers, other witnesses, the people who were there, um, you know, instead of having scripted actors. And you're hearing these little golden nuggets, you're hearing these little tidbits of information that previously probably has not been uh, available. So you're you're learning things. And it's, it's in the Durst case, for example, you know, a multi-millionaire with endless resources to hire the best attorneys. And it's this testing between law enforcement prosecutors, the, the detectives to try and, you know, not have any holes, uh, you know, in their work that the defense can, can punch through. And it's I think it's just very interesting to watch. and It's a very exciting and fun project to be a part of. This is the kind of stuff you like to watch, right, John? Oh, 100%. Are you, I, are you texting? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, if you, you must play, know, yes. Are you playing I'm, Tetris? <laughs> no, if you must know, I'm talking to Patches because we're running late. <laughs> oh, I know we are. I know, but I, Patches is cooking. Oh. Right he's, now? He's cooking right now? No, he's still down there. Oh, you know, he's, okay. He's in his little box. I'm like, <laughs> he's down there. Oh. No, we're, he's, you know, you know Patches. Patches yeah. is basically, I have realized that it doesn't matter for running behind because it's just going to be a thing. It's going to be That's great. Just, and then, but Patches has become me in the I'm stressed because we're behind nah. person. We're I'm, fine. I'm we're fine. Saying, I'm, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes uh, of my uh, next pet pals tv uh kitty correspondent adventure and when we come back from that we're gonna play don't screw the crew we got pet of the week we got uh tell me something good and uh and, you know and then we'll be down in the kitchen for the official after party what's cooking with patches he just wants to get to his own show and be in the kitchen right. and be in control that's what patches wants well i will say i try i did try to watch blood and money on hulu mm -hmm. i think What's it on? I can't remember, but it wouldn't let me watch it. Okay. It's on uh, CNBC if you uh, want to watch it. Yes. Okay. All I right. Will. So had the opportunity to go to uh, local radio personality, Jake Query's home and meet his cat, Boo. I'm not going to give away all of the story, but I'll tell you that it uh, it nearly had me in tears. This is how we should uh, take care of animals. We need more people like Jake in the world. Here is a little preview, our kitty cam tonight. Hey, We're trying to convince Boo to come out on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I will get as much B-roll as we can get here. <laughs> Very excited about uh, seven showing months that story. In the seven oh months in the gosh. shelter, and he went in and he 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 actually got online and like looked for the cat that had been there the longest, and mm -hmm. then they told him in that seven months that Boo had been there, only one other person had even clicked on his picture on the website. Aww. And he is the sweetest, just like loviest. You can tell that, it, it, that his owner had passed away. You can tell he was like super well taken mm. care of and loved. And then he had that like seven months. But now he's good. He's good. Right. So uh, the rest of the story coming up on Pet Pals TV. Uh, make sure that you follow me on all the social because I'll announce when it's going to be on. Just go to kjonsocial.com. And that will let you choose Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, however you want to follow me. I made it super easy for you. Uh, and speaking of easy, it's time for our favorite game. That was such a bad segue because yes. she said, <laughs> speaking of easy, and then we're going to play Don't Screw the Crew. Well, oh, she's such a fibber. The fact that you and Patches are on a winning streak and have never lost makes it seem like it's pretty easy to play, John. Have you seen my face when you ask me questions? It is time, <laughs> my friends. 
it is time to play Don't Screw the the Crew. The Crew. The Crew. Thanks, Patches. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Tonight we are playing for crew number 90, Kathleen. And if you guys win tonight, Kathleen is going to get to go to the Indy 11 game Ooh. of her choice this season. Uh, we're going to have season tickets uh, all season long, so make sure you sign up for your chance to win at kjcrew.com and more exciting news about Indy 11 tickets and our first anniversary coming up. All right, guys, this is how it works. Don't screw crew. the crew! crew. crew. Yay. I have three questions sitting in front of me. If producer Patches and executive producer Jonna get two out of the three right, we do not screw the crew. And guess what, you guys? My questions were not saved. So I I think I have, hang on a second. I think I just have the wrong thing pulled up. So of course something was going to go wrong. Here we go. All right, Mercury no. is in fact in retrograde. So I got I mean, it, guys. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Jesus, my questions did not say. She's so calm yeah, about it. Like, my uh-huh. questions did uh-huh. not say. So I'm about to <laughs> make some trivia up right now. <laughs> Patches, what's my favorite color? Go. <laughs> Blue. Go. Next. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Gosh. Our first question goes to producer Patches. The yeah. category is food. It's finger licking good was the slogan for over 50 years for what restaurant chain? Colonel Sanders. I mean, come on, it's Kentucky Fried Patches, Chicken. I, I, okay, just say the last I mean, patches. KFC. Thank Woo! You. Yeah! <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not even I am I am exactly that much too tired to argue about this. <laughs> okay, I will respect you, Jonna. Here we go. Question number two. Oh, Jonna, God. the category is music. Okay. Jennifer Lopez became the first woman to have a number one oh, film God. and number one album at the same time. With which oh. one of her movies? Pick a movie. Uh, oh my God, she only has like. I'm gonna pick guess a movie it's not. Had a I'm, bunch of songs on it. I'm gonna Mary, guess it's not. Gigi. Marry me. Oh. Oh, so it was the wedding planner. Oh, um, wedding. It was the other wedding movie. She does so many oh, weddings. God. She does. Mary, first of all, Marry Me has a bomb soundtrack. I don't know what anybody's talking about. It does. Wedding Planner soundtrack was good also, but uh, all right, Patches, we got to bring it home. I love, all right, I'm, all right, I'm, all right. I'm, all right, guys, don't screw, don't screw this up. Don't screw the crew. All right. Third question. You can both answer. The category is history. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Name okay. the person who invented the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell. Woo! Yeah! And you know what that means, guys. We did not screw the crew. Woo! We got a it's my favorite thing in the world. Again, that much too tired to argue about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Congratulations uh, to Kathleen, crew number 90, who is going to cheer on the Indy 11 this season. Oh Sign up to win and be a part of the KJ crew at kjcrew.com. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying that if I go before y'all go, that better not show up at my funeral. I oh, swear I'm gonna haunt you. Oh, I this promise I will like, haunt you. Jada, I would love to hear more about this. It's a hologram on your tombstone. No. Listen, guys, we just don't have time. I wish I could let you voice your co- oh, your concerns God. and your complaints, but we just. Oh, don't. I will write a strongly worded letter. Okay. We just don't oh. have time. Take it away, patches. Well, the K 
KJ, KJ, KJ Today Concert Series invites you to Summer Bash, Indiana. Celebrating 10 years, Summer Bash is Indiana's only inclusive music festival. Food, booze, camping, and of course, live music. Join the KJ Today Show at Summer Bash, Indiana in Muncie, July 14th and 15th. Go to SummerBashIndiana.com. Thank you, Patches and Jonna. If you could, give us the two rules of Summer Bash. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes. No glass is allowed. Yes. Okay. Also, don't be a dick. Thank you. All right. Back to you, the, Patches. The one curse word I can say on this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, KJ's next book signing is this Saturday. Join her for the Indy Neighborhood Cats Mega Yard Sale. Get your signed copy of Raised by Cats behind the mic and the yes. <laughs> 9 a.m. and noon on Saturday. The Indy Neighborhood Cats Mega Yard Sale is the city's largest yard sale. Shop Saturday and Sunday at Indianapolis Care Services. More info on KJ's Facebook page. Thank you so much, Patches. Looking forward to that. And uh, speaking of being on the road, we had an opportunity to head to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway last week as they were doing some testing at the track. This is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Cameraman, chief engineer, Grandpa Patches, could you give him a view of the track behind us, show him what's going on here? This is where the greatest spectacle in racing takes place. been coming since 1985 to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. What is happening today? What is testing me? So, just testing me. So, so the testing, there's a, uh, all, the, all the veterans are, and it just kind of, it's, uh, it's attend the track conditions for the month of May, so that people are, uh, you know, getting used to the, to the surface and everything else. This is a great big oval track. How big is it, Patches? You could fit, oh God, I can't even go through the list. You could fit the White House, Vatican City, Churchill Downs, uh, uh, the Coliseo, the, you so, all like, of them all, together. All of them inside this track. A half million people can't be wrong every year if you haven't been to the Indy 500. We're giving you advance notice yes. to go to the Indy 500. Yes, 100%. And we'll have uh, more coverage of the Indy 500 all month long. Go ahead, Jonna. Badges, why do you know that that fact? Why? What is that fun? Why was that a fun fact that you just knew right off the top of your head? That's the, about uh, how big the track is. Yeah, because I would have been like, I don't know, like three football fields. That's that would have been oh, my no, guess. No, no, no. I mean, like you could. Yeah, it, insane. I it, well, I mean, I just I just love that speedway so much. So. Also, you know, I've never it, been to the track or the 500. Oh well, now yeah. you uh, yeah, no, you, we're gonna you fix can that go with year. us. Mm -hmm. uh, no, because I will die. No, you'll no, be you fine. Won't. You can go on a practice day, and we won't stay very long, so you'll be yeah. fine. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, all yeah, right. We got all you. Right. We got you. All and right. I, I uh, gotta say, my 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 t shirt was on point too. So on as, as, oh as, yes, uh, that, patches. That is, uh, we will arguably, get more into that yeah. next week because we had uh we had a little impromptu don't screw the crew trivia come up between patches and uh and uh our chief engineer grandpa patches. Jesus. So. That'll be next week on the show. <laughs> we always end the show with the pet of the week, which is coming up, and yes. also some of your good news. So tell me. Good. Crap. Patches, something. You don't have time something. For this. Something. You, something. Listen, something, something, you're something. the one that's like, something. I want to be down in the kitchen. Something, something, I want to be something, cooking dinner. Something, okay. Something, why do you do this to me? This is why I left, okay? <laughs> this is why I needed a break. <laughs> You guys are always fighting, and I just can't handle it, okay? All right, let's get it together. Tell me something good. good. Yay. Yay. We did it. Christy's good news. I finally got to see the northern lights. Jealous. What a beautiful picture of How that. Thank you that? for sharing. Uh, Faye says, people love my crochet Easter baskets so much. I already have an order for 10 for next year. I wish I had patience, bro. Ooh, well she's going to be busy. <laughs> right. And Nicole says, as of last Friday, I am officially breast cancer free. Woo! That was freaking fantastic. That is Nicole. awesome. 
We are so happy to hear that. Um, and you should join us, uh, not to you know uh, plug our show, but O'Reilly's is doing um, from uh, April 28th through May 8th. They are doing a specialty drink called Peggy's Manhattan uh, in honor of a special uh, woman in the O'Reilly's family who passed away of cancer. So they are raising money for uh, cancer research. We are going to be there for our first anniversary party. So you can actually get that drink and help so uh, support the cause. We will be at O'Reilly's on May 5th. Yes. Cinco de Mayo. So you can have yourself some Irish margaritas. Just ask me for the recipe. Uh, O'Reilly's downtown and every crew member who has an official number is getting a pair of tickets to the Indy 11. Uh, we'll be talking more about that next week, but put it on your calendar next Friday, May May 5th. Yay. Yay. I'm so Indy, excited. Any Indy 11 game of your choice. Yes. Oh. Yeah. You get to oh. pick what game you oh, go yeah. to this season. All right, guys. We'll be uh, heading downstairs to see our cats and do the official after show. You What's will cooking be. I can't get lower. With Patches and the cats. Oh, I you can't got, get lower. Patches has to go upstairs. <laughs> We're going to go downstairs. Yeah, uh, but before, before we do that, let's meet our pet of the week. Jana, oh my goodness, oh, look at Zena. So freaking cute. Zena's mom is Jade, and she says Zena is three. Her nickname is Floof Butt or ZZ. And Zena is a German Shepherd, as you can see, who loves to round up her two younger human brothers. Uh, Jade says, It makes my heart smile when I'm outside with the three of them, and Zena is herding the toddlers together without being aware that she's doing me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute they are together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Zena also has a special skill. She knows when a panic attack is going to hit and with someone who struggles with anxiety as well as friends that do, she insists that you pet her and will lay next to you until you feel better. That is Zena. She Aww. is our pet of the week. Oh, absolutely Thank you. love that. Thank you so much, Jade, for sharing Zena with us. Follow me on Facebook because I do. Uh, it's, it's impromptu, man. I'll just be like, hey, it's time. We need more. Uh, we need more pets for pet of the week, and you have a chance to have your pet be the star of our show. Yep. And look, if I message you, message me back because then your pet will be the pet of the week. It's true. Yes, it's true. I'm that's just saying. That's how no, it works. No pressure. But All right. Like I know that we're a little bit over, but I do want to let you know we've got some big guests coming up. We've got Scott Patterson from the Gilmore Girls next week. We have James Monroe, Iglehart from Hamilton, which that is ton, the best picture. A ton of people are seeing Hamilton right now in Indianapolis. Uh, so excited to talk to him. And Jim Belushi will be on our show May 17th, which will be our 50th show. Ooh, I crazy. Know. Oh, and. Gee. Big show, big guest. Thanks big. for joining us. Please remember to subscribe to our show, like, comment. All of those things cost you nothing and they mean the world to us. Thanks so much for being here with us. Join us on facebook.com slash KJ on the air. That's where you'll find the official after party right after our famous in credits. <laughs>